So I thought I'd share something real simple, short video. But I was here working in the garage and I love these hoses, you know, they call them miracle hoses because they stretch and they, they're easy to move around and everything. But uh, they are notorious for bursting, whether you walk on it or a horse steps on it or you drive over it. But this one here, uh, it burst right on my, fa on my faucet. And if you ever tried to fix one of these, you know it's, it's a pain. Basically, it's just a rubber tube. What, what prevents it from becoming a giant balloon is the, the sheathing. So the, if the sheathing's worn or, or ruptured, you're gonna have a ruptured tube. Uh, but more to the point, the, the pain in repairing these is that you're trying on some connections like this where you have these fingers that clamp down on your hose to your connector. It's very difficult to get, you know, slightly smaller hose around the connector. So what I did, and maybe to help you, but if you take a, a long quarter inch drive extension, put it through your fitting, and then feed the hose onto the extension for maybe three or four inches, that'll not only expand the hose a little bit, but give you some some impetus to, to have that hose feed over the nipple. Under the fingers, it's, it's fed up onto the nipple. And you just leave your extension in while you then feed your sheath back up and you know I think what kind of worked for me is you want it as close to the as close to the fingers as you can and you you do want some of this sheathing to be exposed so when you tighten the nut down you know you have some additional clamping power but you don't obviously you don't want to get this too far up onto the threads so with that then I, I just bring in the nut up and tighten it up nice and hand tight and then you could just remove your your extension and you're back in business until the next time it pops off but that is that hope you might be able to use it talk to y'all later